Our first signing in this AC Milan career mode series is a big one. Lucas Torreira to Milan is a done deal. Finds Zlatan. Zlatan takes one touch, goes for goal, and can you believe it, guys? Zlatan Ibrahimovic scores our first goal of the series. It just had to be him. So here we are back again with another episode of the AC Milan career mode series. This is episode number two. In the first episode of the series, we went ahead and signed Lucas Torreira to improve our midfield. Today's episode, the plan is to bring in a winger who can really help our attack. Last episode, we also played our first Serie A game of the season, which ended in a draw, which was frustrating. But hopefully in this episode, we can get some points on board. So if you guys are enjoying this brand new career mode series with AC Milan, keep the support coming in. Let's smash our 2,500 likes once again. And if you are new around here, do subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Also, a big thank you to you guys for your crazy support on the first episode of the series. I'm so glad that you guys are already enjoying this series. The first episode has got over 50,000 views, 1,800 comments and over 4,000 likes. It's actually crazy. So a big thank you to everyone who's supporting the channel. It is now time for our first ever press conference as AC Milan boss. And if you guys want to see your questions being answered in the videos, make sure to drop them down in the comment section below. First question, AC Milan needs a Brazilian winger. Try signing David Neres, Vinicius or Rodrigo. I do like the idea of bringing in a Brazilian winger because we know what having a Brazilian forward means for AC Milan and their fans. They've had the likes of Ronaldinho in the past, Robinho, Alexandre Pato. Now, of course, all those players haven't succeeded at the club, but it's still something that we can make happen here at AC Milan. So I'm definitely going to try and bring in a Brazilian winger. And we've got quite a few options. Felipe Anderson, I think, would be the best choice because he's in his prime and he could really give us that extra boost up top in the attack. Vinicius Jr. is a great option as well. Probably going to be a tough one to pull off because we've got to negotiate with Real Madrid for that one. David Neres would also be a great signing, but he's predominantly a player that plays on that right side. So it's going to be tough trying to incorporate him. But all these are good suggestions. And yes, we are going to try and look for a Brazilian winger in this episode. Next question. What are your thoughts on Ibrahimovic already going down in his overall? It's frustrating, but this was expected. He's 37 years old. We can't expect him to retain that 85 overall. His stats are already going down. And also it clearly says here that he is going to retire come end of season. I'm just expecting that we can get a good season out of him and I'm hopeful that'll happen. He's already started off well with the goal and let's hope he can continue scoring a ton of goals for us in this series. He's so much fun to use in this game. Next question, are you concerned about the lack of pace in your attacks? Latsan may be a liability considering that through balls and counter attacks are a big strength of yours. That is actually a very valid and a good question. And yes, I am concerned. I do rely on counter attacking football a lot, but I don't need all my strikers to have like a lot of pace. Like Zlatan Ibrahimovic's job in this team is going to be just to finish and he's already doing that well. He scored in that previous game. So I don't think he's a liability, but I feel like I do need a bit more pace in the wings because Castilejo isn't quick, Suso isn't quick. We need someone pacey down the wings and that is why we're looking for a pacey winger. Rebic is pretty quick as well, 88 pace. So I'm not that concerned, but definitely we're looking for a winger to get some more pace and more directness in that attack. But that's that for the press conference. Let's move on. It just had to be Zlatan Ibrahimovic who ends up winning the player of the episode award. He scored a fabulous goal with his right foot in the last episode from the edge of the box. And he was in general really dominant in that game. And I was actually surprised how good he was. And well, you guys voted for him as your player of the episode. And well, he wins the award for the first time in this series. All right, so I've done a bit of a workaround with my budget. And we've got about 50 million that we can spend on a winger. That's the only position I want to improve at this point. We need someone quality up top along with the likes of Ibra, Rebic and also. Let's go and sign a winger. Felipe Anderson is the man I want to bring in in this series because I feel like he's in his prime. He's already played in the Serie A. If you guys remember, this guy played for Lazio for quite a while. He's not enjoying his time at West Ham and we can maybe bring him to AC Milan and try and revive his career. He's got the experience, he's got the ability and I think he could be a fantastic transfer. The only thing is, it might prove to be an expensive one but because he's in his prime, I'm willing to pay the extra price. We need quality now to help us finish high in the Serie A and Felipe Anderson could be the man that gives us that. So let's start with a 33 million offer and just see what West Ham come back and see. Of course, they're not going to accept this. It's way too less. 
they want 54 and that's simply we cannot afford that we just cannot afford 54 let's counter with about maybe 40 and just see what west ham come back and say if i can get him for under 50 million i'll definitely pull the trigger so let's see what they want they want 54 for him man that is a lot of money let's counter with maybe 45 and just see what they come back and say i mean why do they want 54 for Philippe anderson like come on west ham just just be smart about this let him go for 45 million and well they're gonna consider it this is gonna be interesting we'll see what happens now like come on they've countered with 54 million once again like honestly i'm gonna negotiate once again with them we need to try and get that fee down to maybe like 47 48 million so let's now propose a new transfer fee of about 46 million this has been a difficult negotiation man for philippe anderson let's see what they come back and say for 46 they're willing to go down to 53.5 with a sell-on clause but that's still way too much for me at this point let's go down to 48 with a sell-on clause as well i don't anticipate selling him at the moment so 48 million five percent sell-on clause come on west ham accept this offer like what even is this man they want 53.6 for him let's propose a new transfer fee let's counter with 50 million now they should accept this like come on 50 million they should accept this. 50 million. No, they aren't going to accept this. We just cannot afford Philippe Anderson, man. Unfortunately, we're going to have to end negotiations. West Ham are playing hardball. We're going to have to look elsewhere. I really wanted to have Philippe Anderson involved in this series, but it simply isn't possible. He's just way too expensive, and I feel like this is just a bad deal to do. So we're going to try and bring in Vinicius Jr. I would love to have him at the club. Five-star skill moves, a four-star week for a quality player. With some training, we can definitely improve his finishing and all that and make him a quality player. So let's see if it's possible to sign him. So I'm going to start off with a 27 million euro offer. That's a big offer for someone like Vinicius. But let's see what Real Madrid come back and say. They won 38. At least it's a much better fee than, of course, what we were about to pay for Philippe Anderson. Let's counter with about maybe 32. Just to see where Zidane and his team, you know, think about this offer. 32 million for Vinicius Jr. Come on, accept it. There you go. That's what I call a good deal, man. Vinicius Jr. to AC Milan for 32 million. I like that. So this is what I'm offering Vinicius Jr. 70,000 in wages, 400,000 in signing bonus, a five-year contract length and a rotation squad role. He should be able to accept this offer. I feel like it's a good one. Let's see what Vinicius thinks about this offer. And there you go. It's a done deal. We've made our second signing of the series. The Brazilian winger Vinicius Jr. is now an AC Milan player. With the signings of Vinicius and of course Torreira, the team looks so much better. I think we're ready for this upcoming season. We don't have an insane team. We don't have a side that's capable of winning this Serie A yet. But we can definitely compete with the big boys. So I'm happy with the work we've done so far. We've still got about 20 million left in our transfer budget and I'm not sure where should we invest that in. So maybe wait until the next transfer window, see how our team is performing, see where the weaknesses are and then make moves. That could be the plan. Let me know if you guys have any other suggestions as well in the comment section below. Alright, it is now time to reveal our season goals that we're going to try and accomplish over the course of this upcoming season. We've got some really interesting objectives here. All suggested by you guys in the comment section. You guys know how this works. We've got six objectives that you guys have selected. And we're going to be trying and completing them over the course of this season. If we fail to complete at least four out of these six objectives, we're going to have to do a forfeit. So these are the objectives we've got. I is back, which is to score 25 goals this season with Zlatan Ibrahimovic. That's going to be a challenge. He's already scored once though, so that's great. Milan is red. Finish above Inter Milan in this area. That is not going to be an easy one because we know Conte's Inter Milan is very strong. Defensive offense, I saw this objective suggested in the comments and it looked pretty interesting. Score five goals with defenders this season. I guess corners are going to be really important for us. And also, we've got more objectives here. Derby days, win a game against Juventus in the Serie A. That's going to be tough because we know Juve are a fantastic side. They've got Cristiano Ronaldo as well. Silverware, win a trophy this season. I guess our best bet is the Coppa Italia. Jogo Bonito. I guess we're glad that we signed a Brazilian. Score or assist, 30 goals this season with Brazilian players. I guess Paqueta and Vinicius are going to be really important for this objective. So those are the objectives we're going to try and complete over the course of this season. All right, it is now time to focus on the Serie A's. We've got our first home game of the season, and this one is against Brescia. I'm really hoping we can get our first win of the season as well. We've got to get three points from this fixture. 
I don't get this, guys. Vinicius seems to be unhappy already. Like, he's just joined the club. Like, come on. I'm just gonna try and boost his morale up. Let's just say he'll prove he's the right man. And with that, his morale has gone up a bit, which is great. Is Vinicius the perfect replacement for Chalanoglu in Milan's squad? I'm just gonna say he needs to settle in. And with that, his morale is going up. So I guess we've done a good job in, you know, man-managing Vinicius. So this is how we've got the team set up against Brescia. I've made some really interesting changes, like of course playing Rafael Leao, he's starting up front. Vinicius Jr. making his debut, Paqueta on the right as well. It's going to be interesting to see how he performs. A lot of you guys have been talking good things about Ben Naka, so I'm going to be giving him a chance in midfield. Our defence is the same with Romagnoli captaining this side, Donnarumma in goal. This is the Milan side I'm going for. Let's get our first win of the series. Here we go, this is our first game at the San Siro in front of our home fans and I'm really hoping we can get our first win here. It'll give the fans a huge boost, it'll give the team a huge boost, so let's get it done. Oh, this could be something as Benaka looks for Zlatan on the turn, shoots and scores Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Two goals, two games in the Serie A. AC Milan make it 1-0 against Brescia. This guy is something else. I'm so glad we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic in this series. He is our main man up top. This season, he's going to be firing goals left, right and centre for us as he scores the opener for us in this one. We did get a bit lucky with the goal though. Benaka though, providing the assist. You guys were right, this guy is special. Benaka with the assist and of course, Latsan with the goal. 1-0 against Brescia, come on! Cross comes in and it's literally across the field. Another ball played back in, we've got to clear this away. What is this defending even, man? Are you kidding me, Romagnoli? This is literally AC Milan's defending in real life. I mean, that's the best way to put it. What on earth was our captain doing there? He literally just lets Palek control the ball and just wait a couple of minutes and then get the shot off. There's no desire from Romagnoli there. That was awful. Like, have a look at this. The cross comes in. Romagnoli actually wins the header and just is, he's just standing there and doing nothing. That is an awful goal to concede. Here we go on the counter-attack. It is Latan. Looks for Rafael Lea, who's on the turn. We know he's quick. We know the kid is quick. Finds Paqueta brilliantly. Now Zlatan on the turn. Zlatan Ibrahimovic goes for goal. It's another goal for Zlatan. This guy is incredible, man. Zlatan Ibrahimovic with his third goal in the Serie A. And AC Milan lead 2-1 against Brescia. This has been a difficult game for us. But when you've got the man, the myth, Zlatan himself up top, he's of course going to deliver for you. This one was, I think, from outside the box. Look at that for a finish. How did he pull that off? Zlatan Ibrahimovic take a bow, his second goal of the game. Oh, he is insane. Oh, here goes Vinicius. That's what you want to see from him. He's utilizing that pace in a fantastic manner. Go on, Vinicius. Cause an impact here. Cut back to Zlatan. Maybe his hat trick. He's got himself a hat trick, guys. Zlatan Ibrahimovic with a hat trick in his second game in the Serie A. This is insane. This is actually absurd. The guy is 37 years old and he's actually just gone ahead and scored a hat trick. Unbelievable scenes. I did not expect this to happen. This is insane. Credit to Vinicius as well for the assist, but for Zlatan to score a hat-trick at this age, it's insane. It is genuinely insane. What a moment in this series. A first half hat-trick from Zlatan Ibrahimovic as we lead 3-1 against Brescia. Insane. Zlatan again on the turn. He's actually insane, dudes. Like, honestly, what a game he's having. Finds Rafael Liao, and look at the pace of Rafael Liao. Does so well there. Goes for goal, but the keeper denies him. We're playing some great football in this first half, man. We're dominating Brescia. Let's keep it going. Corner for us. Maybe a fourth goal from Zlatan from this. Imagine if that happens. The keeper punches it away. It's going to be a free kick against Zlatan. And a yellow card for him. That's tough. I'm making a couple of changes for the remainder of this game. On comes Kessie to make our, you know, midfield even more strong. We'll also bring on Suso on the right because Paqueta wasn't really doing much for us. So that's the plan. Rafael Liao looks for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan feeds this one for Suso with a wonderful pass. Suso brings it back in. We know he's a great dribbler. As he's trying to cut inside, Suso goals for goal. And wow, that was actually pretty close to being a wonder goal from Suso. Imagine if that would have gone in. Oh no, this is going to be a chance for Brescia and what even is that for a goal? Like honestly, what a strike. I think it's this Palek guy who scored yet again against us and Brescia are right back in it. Only a goal separates the two teams now. We've got to be extremely careful for the remainder of this game. Well, this is certainly not good. Another opportunity for our opponents. A terrible clearance there from Romagnoli, but somehow we don't even get it away. It's Tonali now with the shot and that was actually close to being in. It hit the side netting, thankfully, but we are struggling now. Well, this is not good, guys. Brescia are attacking with everything they've got. 
Oh, come on. No way, man. No way. They've equalized. Are you kidding me? It's 3-3. Not again. Are we going to draw points again in stupid fashion? We've just seen Slats undo the impossible, score a hat-trick for us, and we throw the game away. It's actually a hat-trick for this Palek guy as well. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. Rafael lay out as Latan. Imagine if it happens now again. Slatan turns inside. Still Slatan goes for goal with his left foot. This is insane. This is actually insane. Slatan Ibrahimovic is a god. AC Milan lead 4-3 against Brescia and this man has just scored 4 goals for us in a 4-3 thriller. This is insane. I have no words. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, take a freaking bow. This guy has scored 5 goals in his last 2 games. What a man. What an absolute legend. Full time and Zlatan is taking home the match ball after scoring a poker. 4 goals from this man. Unreal, man. Absolutely unreal. But somehow we beat Brescia. They made this game really hard, man. Like, honestly, they created so many chances. They even scored three goals. Spalek, they wanted their attackers scored a hat-trick. But ultimately, Zlatan was an absolute god in this game. And well, we've beaten them 4-3. Our first win in the Serie A. What do you make of such a strong debut? Vinicius was certainly impressive. His pace on the left side really helped us counter more. And I'm just going to say it's clear to see why I brought him in. Such a great result and four amazing goals scored by Ibrahimovic. Any comments on his performance? Ah, oh, he's a superstar. Best way to put it. So with that win, we're now in the top four, which is nice to see. But of course, it's really early on in the season. Most teams haven't even played two games yet. So, but it's still good to have a big win. Three points on the board. We're now on four points after two games, which is nice. Juventus already emphasizing their dominance in the league with six points out of the two games. Don't you love to see this? Ibrahimovic currently is the top scorer in the Serie A with 5 goals in 2 games. Ronaldo has scored once as well. Immobile behind Ibra. He's also scored a hat-trick so far. So it is the transfer deadline day at the moment and because of that I don't want to be playing any more games in this episode. I know we've only played one game in this one but I don't want to make any more progress because I want to read through your comments and see if we need to make any more transfers. Talking about transfers, any positions you guys think we need to improve upon? Maybe the fullback position? Maybe that defense because it's been dodgy so far this season. We've got about 20 million to spend so I'd love to see if you guys have any suggestions for potentially any last ditch signings. So let me know in the comments section. I didn't actually realize this but in the next episode we've got the Milan derby. That's going to be one hell of a game against Inter and I genuinely can't wait for it. Well, things are going surprisingly well with our season objectives. Latan has now scored 5 goals, which is amazing. And also, a couple of assists from Vinicius and Paqueta has really helped us out with the Jogo Bonito challenge. Before we wrap up today's episode, time for you guys to make your vote count and vote for the Player of the Episode award. A couple of nominees as always. First one being Zlatan. Second one being Zlatan as well. I'm rigging the vote because Zlatan has to win this. A four-goal performance to win the game for us against Brescia. Absolutely incredible so you guys can decide for which Latan to vote for click the i button on the top right of your screen so that's that for another episode of the ac milan career mode i'm loving the series so far we've made another great signing in vinicius we could potentially be making more signings in the next episode we had an incredible game against brescia next game we've got into milan so things are moving smoothly hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode if you guys did a like would be awesome subscribe if you are new around here and well i'll catch you guys next time